I'm Marie-Laure Alain, the Scientific Director of the Master Economics, Data Analytics and Corporate Finance. I'm a Professor of Economics at Ecole Polytechnique and a Research Director at CNRS. My research field is industrial organization and its applications to competition policy. More precisely, I'm interested in issues related to bargaining inside supply chains. I also teach the industrial organization course in the first year of the program. The MSCT program Economics, Data Analytics and Corporate Finance has been designed to offer the students a special mix of three ingredients that one needs to master to make strategic decisions in the corporate world. These ingredients are usually taught separately at master's level. These three ingredients are microeconomic analysis, corporate finance and data analytics. First, microeconomic analysis and especially all the tools of industrial organization and game theory are key to understand the firm's strategic interactions and to study market organization in a changing environment. Second, corporate finance provides tools to analyze firms' financial decisions. For instance, financial accounting, financial analysis, valuation techniques, hedging, etc. And finally, data analytics courses provide students with econometric and statistic tools to analyze data and make sense out of them. We go from basic to advanced econometrics and big data techniques. A quite wide range of career choices are open to the economics, data analytics and corporate finance degree graduates. The program has been launched in 2016 and since then most of our graduates have started careers in four main areas. Perhaps the largest group specializes in corporate finance and investment banking. Other students start their career in strategy consulting. Some of them work for one of the big established companies. Others choose smaller companies who focus on the quantitative side of the analysis. Some graduates also work for various companies in domains such as digital transformation, data science, strategy, etc. These companies range from the very small startups to the largest international companies. Finally, some of our graduates become economists or data scientists for the international institutions, the public sector or research, and some who completed a PhD. The program is primarily intended for students with a high level in mathematics or in quantitative economics. However, it's open to students with a finance or engineering background. Above all, a good command of mathematics is crucial to follow the highly quantitative based approach of this master's program. You can have a look at our webpage for further information about prerequisites. We especially welcome students who are open to international opportunities, of course. I think one strength of this program is that the teaching combines academic quality and proximity with business actors. We have high-profile academic professors from Polytechnic, NSAE or other institutions. On top of that, some courses are taught by high-level professionals from banking or consulting companies. There is also a yearly seminar with invited speakers from various sectors who come and talk about special topics in their activity, for instance in insurance, investment banking, smart cities, trading, innovation in the industry, regulation, etc. I would describe this program in three words. First, data. One of the big transformations of the 21st century is the access to data. But more data does not necessarily mean better solutions. We encompass econometric tools as well as statistic methods for big data to transform data into solutions. The second word would be strategy. The program is built on the complementarity of three domains that one needs to master to make strategic decisions in the corporate world and that are usually taught separately at master's level. Microeconomic analysis, corporate finance and data analytics. The last word would be international because students come from all over the world and this gives them the opportunity to learn how to interact with each other and share ideas in an international environment.